that God said. All of it. In the New Testament, turn if you would to Ezekiel chapter 2. Keep replacing 1 Samuel. We're definitely coming back there a lot. I want you to, I just want to cross-reference this with Ezekiel. Because this is the trait that we need to have. And we need to exalt the, the love of the truth. Now more than ever. We have an entire culture, an entire society. Our American culture is horrible. And now it, it, it just continues to turn to this, this culture of like, let's lie to people and let's live in a fantasy land and pretend like these things are real and we need to respect this and respect that wickedness and this perversion and just bury our heads in the sand and let's just say like, oh no, everything's okay. And oh, you're a man, but you want to be, you want to be a she, her, and you want to use these pronouns and say like, well, I was born, I feel like I'm a woman, but you're born a man. And we're just going to make up this fantasy land and say, okay, everyone play this game now. And we're going to just pretend that this man is actually a woman because he puts on a dress and says, use these pronouns that does no good for anybody just coming up with some strange reality and saying oh okay yeah now I, I'm, I'm everything that I see and everything that's real we're just gonna change all of that just to suit your made-up fantasy land as opposed to saying no that's not real there's something wrong with this person you know they need help or they need something else, but it's not to just play along with some lie. Because you, you know who it's really confusing to? The children. Yeah. Yep. And that's what they continue trying to do is push this in the schools and get the children to literally think different and, and have their whole reality changed. And think that somehow this is normal or acceptable that people can just be whatever they feel or whatever they want. As opposed to just dealing with the truth and dealing with the facts. If you're, like, if you're a man, you're a man. If you're a woman, you're a woman. That's it. Yep. You're not, you're not a, a cat trapped in a human body. <laughs> which, that exists today. Mm -hmm. An elementary school from students that are sick of this. And there's like a litter box in the restroom. <laughs> Talking about a Twilight Zone episode, but it's reality. It's insanity is what it is. Yeah, that's right. How do we get to this place? How does this even happen? It happens when supposed men of God stop preaching the whole counsel of God. When people get more concerned about feelings and making sure everybody feels comfortable and everybody feels safe and everybody's okay and don't you worry your little selves, it's all going to be all right. Instead of, this is what God says. There's good, there's bad, take heed, fear the Lord, obey his commandments. This is the way we're supposed to lead our lives. There's mercy, there's forgiveness, there's love, amen. But God is not mocked. Be not deceived, God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. Okay, that needs to be taught too, because that's the truth. That's reality. You can't just make up stuff and just say, well, I don't really like that, so I'm not going to do anything about that. You end up where we're at today.